Good morning students and assalamu alaikum. I'm your teacher Mehvish and in today's lesson we are going to learn the recitation of Adil Kursi as well as the translation of this supplications, right? So please open your page number 6. Students, the learning objectives are the recitation of Adil Kursi of course the learning of it and then the understanding of the translation students let's have a look on the background of Adil Kursi students this is actually in Surah Bakra and it is verse number 255 which is very much important Adil Kursi is regarded as one of the most powerful ayat in the Quran because when it is recited the greatness of God is believed to be confirmed and the people who recite this ayat in the morning and evening they will be under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all the evils of jinns and uh, that is why the people used to recite it on a daily basis so here the word Adil Kursi here the word Kursi is actually the symbol of power okay or you can say a seat of power and that's is his that is actually the power base and it is telling us the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is actually the master of everything and he is the least or, or he is the most powerful one in this whole world so students the significance of this idol kursi is that if a person is going to recite it okay when he is going to sleep three times then allah used to protect him from all the evils that is against the shaitan and uh, it is also very much important to recite because uh, Prophet peace be upon him used to recite it after every Salah this is also a remedy for the weak memory that if you are going to forget something during the exams okay and uh, you are unable to keep the memory for longer period than you used to recite it okay it will really help us a lot and lastly it is also very much beneficial for all of us to get ourselves rid from all kind of fears okay because it is also said that if a person is going to recite it thrice then Allah personally used to protect that person now moving towards the supplication or idol kursi of which is in surah al baqarah so students you are requested to please repeat after me so you will be able to get or pronounce the proper words okay so let's start it auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Allahu La Ilaha Illahu Al Hayul Qayyum La Ta Khuzuhu Sina Tawala Naum Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard man zal lazi yashfa'u indahu illa bi iznihi ya'lamu ma bayna Aidihim Wama Khalfahum Wala Yuhituna 
بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء واسي كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم So students, let's have a look on the word-to-word -word meaning of this verse. It says, Allah. It means Allah. La means no. Ilaha, God. It means that there is no God. Illa, except huwa, him. It means that there is no God except Allah the Almighty alone. Al Hayyu, the ever living. Qayyum, Al Qayyum. It means the sustainer or all that exists. La means no. Ta Huzuhu overtakes him. Sinatong, slumber. 